Hello, this is New Vision TV. I'm Lynn Komjisha. The government has instituted fines for churches, mosques, and individuals who fail to register marriages across the country. According to the Uganda Registration Services Bureau, failure by couples to register customary marriages now attracts a 40,000 shillings fine, while the fine for the churches, mosques, and Hindu temples is 70,000 shillings. The fine is double the amount required for marriage registration. Joseph Bata, the URSB head of consumer communication, told New Vision TV that apart from 40,000 shillings fine, individuals registering customary marriages have to produce an introductory letter from their local council chairpersons, two passport size photos for the couple and their witnesses, and a consent letter from parents if the couple are, or one of them is below 24 years old. Of age. Butter said that there's a difference between holding a function and conducting a legal marriage, adding that the law says all marriages have to be registered. Therefore, if a person does not register their marriage, they are considered to have simply held a function. He emphasized the Stamp Duty Act makes it mandatory for churches, mosques, Hindu temples, and individuals who opt for customary marriages to pay marriage registration fees to the government. In 2015, the government increased fees for registration of marriages from 25,000 shillings to 35,000 shillings for churches, mosques, and Hindu temples. Customary marriage registration fees were raised from 10,000 shillings to 20,000 shillings, while civil marriage registration fees were fixed at 260,000 shillings. Are you looking for a unique salon that will accommodate your worries? Mistake Beauty Unisex Salon is there for you. It does manicure and pedicure, massage, women's hair of all types, both normal and bridal packages, men's haircuts of all types, foot scrubs, facial, and for a person planning for a wedding, they have makeup stylists all in one location. They use modern equipment that will not be an effect on your skin. Mistake Beauty Unisex Salon is located in Wandegear on Bomber Road with big parking space. For more information, contact the numbers below. Moving on. Parliament's Budget Committee has accepted a request by the Uganda National Examinations Board for the allocation of an additional 18.6 billion shillings. The money is the shortfall of what the government is supposed to pay UNEB as examination fees for government-sponsored students. Both the Budget Act and the Public Finance Management Act give Parliament the ultimate power of allocating resources in the national budget. Appearing before the committee yesterday, Daniel Odongo the UNEB Executive Secretary told the legislators that out of the total 45.8 billion shillings that the government was supposed to pay the examinations body for sponsored students, only 27.2 billion had been provided for in the budget, leaving a shortfall of 18.6 billion shillings. Answering a question by the committee chairperson Amos Golovi, Odong said UNEB collected 50.3 billion shillings as examination fees from privately sponsored students. The UNEB executive secretary said because of the shortfall arising from the government not paying its full bill for the sponsored students, they were unable to adequately fund their core activities. And now, the High Court Judge Emeritus Ralph Ochan has assured President Hiori Museveni that the members of the Public Service Commission he reappointed are determined to continue serving Ugandans without fear, favor, or ill will. Ochan, who had just been sworn in as the chairperson of the commission again, thanked the president for re-entrusting them with what he called a huge responsibility. He vowed on behalf of the commission to continue serving the nation diligently without discrimination. Chief Justice Bat Katurebe, who saw in the PSC members yesterday at the High Court, said, although there were many challenges, they should stand firm and stick to the responsibility entrusted to them. He advised them to be mindful of their cardinal duty to recruit and recommend the right people for the right jobs. Other members of the commission are Dr. Hilda Musubira, Deputy Chairperson Begina Muchibi, Hajat Jamila Kamlega, Aida Kagoya Talinyeba, Francis Oliang Lagoni, Dr. Laban Kiria, and Johnson B. Tarabeho.
Now in sports news, Uganda Cranes and Bright Star striker Nelson Senkatuka will today fly out for his trial stints with Japanese club Shonan Belmare and St. Truden of Belgium. The two trial stints have been made possible by Solitilo Uganda Familia Soccer School connections in Europe. Solitilo Uganda Familia Soccer School is a company owned by Japanese football ace Keisuke Honda who bought shares in Bright Stars at the start of the season. Sekatuka, who is currently the top scorer in the league with 15 goals, will be in Japan for two weeks before he moves to Belgium for another trial stint with St. Truiden. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Apollo of Africa series, we take a look at the wading flamingos. They have long legs and necks, a pinkish orange in color, and wade in water. These bird species are commonly found at Lake Munyanyange, which is located in the northeastern part of Katwe Kabatoro Town Council, Kasese District. The abundance of these flamingos is attributed to their constant migration from places like Kenya and Canada. Take a look. When you wade the waters of Lake Mnyanyange, tall, graceful, and brightly colored pinkish-orange birds catch your eye. They are the most instantly recognizable wading birds in the world, the flamingo birds. Flamingos are the most recognizable wading birds in the world and special to the hearts of birders and non-birders. The flamingo birds migrate from as far places as Kenya and even Canada. These end up settling at Lake Munyanyange. Flamingo streams from the word flamingo, a Spanish and a Latin word which means fire and refers to the bright color of the bird's feathers. The pink, orange or red color of a flamingo's feathers is caused by pigments in their food. The wild flamingo's diet includes spring, plankton and algae from the water sources. If those food sources do not provide enough pigmentation, flamingos may seem more gray or white, but they are still healthy and strong. Flamingos' oddly shaped beaks are specially adapted to separate mud and slit from the food they consume and uniquely are used upside down. Flamingos have a wild lifespan of 20 to 30 years. Many flamingos are threatened by predators and poachers. An adult flamingo is 3.3 to 4.6 feet tall and weigh between 3.3 to 9 pounds. Lake Mnyanyange has now become a tourist area for bird watching to many tourists who come to Uganda. Now for Mobile of Africa Stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.eug. Our newspaper, The Sunday Vision, is also another home of adventures, so grab your copy every Sunday for Pearl of Africa Stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I'm Lynn Kombisha.